Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be working on this little nugget, uh, Mini Cooper R53 Supercharged. I picked this up last week and the car's in decent shape in terms of uh, the looks. Everything's straight. Just got a little bit of scratch at the back on that. Pretty sweet deal. But the main issues are mechanical. Today we're going to be tackling the fuel pump on this thing. The day I picked it up, couldn't even make it home. It actually gave up on me about five kilometers away from home. So I ordered the part. Uh, I was able to drive it home. I did the usual tap in the fuel pump trick and it actually worked. Took out the seat and tapped the fuel pump with the spanner and it came back to life. So now we got the new part from Rock Rider. It's a stock Mini Cooper Continental pump. I thought about going down the URO route, but then I don't want to skimp out on a crucial piece of drivability every day, like fuel pump or water pump. So I just thought, might as well spend the money. So now just pull the seat out to start the job. Once the seat's out of the way, we got five 10 mil nuts to undo. Once you undo those, there's your fuel pump. I think this is the quickest I've ever gotten to a fuel pump in a car. Now we gotta take the clip off. So it looks like it slides back that way and the pin comes off. And for this, we just need a screwdriver and a hammer. Oh, we'll get to that in one sec. All right, and now we're just gonna undo it. This one just comes off. Yeah, so the ring comes off and then the pump can be just lighted out, but look at it. It's the original pump. Looks manky as hell. Okay guys, one key thing that I forgot to mention beforehand was please disconnect your battery before you're messing around with anything electrical. So I realized that before I pull out the pump, I gotta do that and I'll reconnect it after I've installed the new pump in. There's the connector. Actually, let's get the seal out first. I got it. Ah, uh, I think it just comes off. Easy, easy. I'll just pull it out like that. There we go. There we go. Once you move the hoses away from it, then it just comes straight, and then you put it at an angle, and there it comes out. Yeah. That's it. Alrighty. Yep, here we go. Get it out of the car. I actually tied up the hoses beforehand just to make sure I don't lose them in the tank. Okay guys, so now we're gonna put in our brand new Continental unit in. So yeah, just, uh, just go with the OEM stuff guys. It always is well worth it, always pays off in the, in the long run. Paying a little bit extra to have that peace of mind. It's worth it. And now for the hoses, the new pump. Okay, so this is slightly tricky. What we're gonna do is... Let's get them out first. Oh, that's okay, they'll come out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And now we'll take them out. So first thing we gotta do here, guys, is connect the breather hose that's supposed to go into the pump there. There's one that runs into it. I'll show you guys in a minute. Okay, that gray hose that's sitting between the that gray hose right there is the one that needs to just go there and sit in there. I think it's a breather for the pump or some kind of hose. If you know what it is, feel free to drop a comment below. All right, guys. So you gotta plug this plug in first. Take out your rope or whatever you got going on. Okay, and now for this hose, we gotta get this lock away. That's it. Okay, and lock. That's the lock. Yeah. That's the lock that goes on. Yeah. And it sits as a U shape, as the old one didn't have this clamp on it. But the new one comes with an extended hose. So hopefully, 
it stays and now we got to put a new seal on it and then we're gonna drop the pump down guys and that's it the job is done all right so this part goes at the bottom of the seal guys Go over the pump. Should have done it beforehand, I guess, but yeah. so you gotta put the seal on guys and then it just needs to sit around the collar there's a groove on it there we go guys now the seals on that's on seal it up properly and then get the locking ring back on yeah. and so I think the same thing just use the hammer and the screwdriver all right guys and now it's time to check to see if it all goes to plan put it on and then slide it forward it locks on We'll test it before we do that. Yeah. Oh. Now we're gonna fire up the car and see how it actually goes. All right. Pump is priming nicely. Yeah. All right, guys. Now everything checked out. So we're gonna put this plate back on. Alright guys, now the job is done, the seat goes back in, and that's all there is to it. To change the pump on the Mini, it takes less than half an hour, all up to do it. And if you do have a Mini R53 that you just bought like myself, stay tuned and subscribe, because I've got a whole lot of content coming in on this one. This one's got a shoddy clutch, so I'll order that. We're going to be changing the coolant hoses, clutch, main seal and a whole lot i want to keep this car for years to come so i'm going to be making sure that it all goes back to stock as much as possible and most of the shot pots are replaced and have a great day thanks for watching bye now